this video I'm going to show you some more light tank magic. Sorry, I meant more light tank magic. <laughs> try. He doesn't spot me there. And also some secret positions. They never roll from where, man. They're getting spotted. This is why I love this map so much. I am also going to 100% mark two lights, and I will show you the two sickest light and care games I've ever had. Buckle up. This battle has been incredibly huge, and trust me, I mean it. We are playing Sand River, and we literally have no team on the K-Line, as it is an encounter battle, so I have to try and keep the whole K-Line secure all by myself. I'm gonna try and do a spot here. Let's see. Here I waited quite long for my team to react, but he was probably behind cover, so I just shot him. Not the greatest. We need to kill the Progetto, and after that we can... We can clear out the K-Line, and after that we clear out the whole map, really. I'm gonna get one more here. Nice! Good job. I can try to yield the Badger and make him turn for this guy. Before I show you this mighty fight against the Badger and the outcome of this insane carry game, let me talk about the minimap. Now, playing tanks requires strategical thinking, but let's face it, the minimap isn't that big, so what if you take it to the next level and explore a strategy game where you can have the whole world and create your very own modern empire? Warplanet Online is an MMO strategy game available on mobile, PC and Mac. Become the ultimate gaming warlord and use real-time strategy to conquer your opponents and defeat your fellow RT players. Adapt your tactics, build a huge army and control it on a gigantic real-time battlefield against both other gamers and AI troops. Troops. You can build your own custom base to repel your enemies, stockpile troops, tanks, helicopters which you can all use to dominate everyone. You can also create an alliance and cooperate with other players in order to grow your empire but they can also become the next on your chopping board if you decide so. Right now Warplanet Online are celebrating the 40th anniversary of Rambo First Blood by including Rambo in Warplanet Online. John Rambo is joining WPO on a special mission to guide the players through the secrets of warfare, lead the way through the First Blood chain event operation and help the players become a one-man army. Man, I love watching Rambo movies as a kid, he was the time's ultimate Chat. Moreover, WP are giving away 40 vouchers. The first 40 players who download the game now and reach level 10 in the game till the 10th of November will win a $100 Amazon gift card. Expect the winners to be announced on the 25th of November and contacted in game additionally. So what are you waiting for? Check the video's description, click on the special link or scan my QR code and get 4,000 army units T1 and 4,000 medals to help kickstart your game and don't miss the chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Back to the video. Wow. Whenever you are pushing a turret list, you always make sure to track them in place. This is super important. Never forget this. Am I just fully safe behind this guy? Probably. Oh. This guy can shoot me, man, all the way. I need to get out, really. I need to get out of here, bro. He gave up? Okay, can we clear out this can we clear out this map from behind? That's the question here. Guys, also write me in the comments what is the most difficult light tank map for you. I'll try and include a round of the most liked one. There you go. You guys shoot the V5? Spotted me. Is he gonna turn? Oh yeah he does. Nice. Nice. I don't know how much HP the Monty is. Oh it's onto you guys. He's already there. I think I have to go for the GC, man. Is he gonna spot me through the... No, I don't think so, dude. Got the already. I'm gonna flank now. I need to help this M5. Okay, I need to kill this VZ in the back. Manticore is still alive. Does he not care about me? Looks like. Nice. At this point, our team is getting pushed super hard and I need to get ready to be able to carry this round. Uh, I'm trying to help, man, but... I kinda have too much HP here. Can we kill the E4? Can't really help the see Honda, dude. We did 5k damage, man, but I can't win this. Or can I? Uh, that's very unfortunate, bro. Run away, man. Chief's gonna push. I think we can bait this chieftain to push like this. I can maybe go like here. They're probably gonna go cap, actually. Eh? 
as the cap starts, I know that I have to get this Manticore ASAP. I don't think he's gonna outspot me. They have three guys in the cap, but if I come from above, I will most likely have an angle on them, and I also have nice bushes to play with. Where's even the cap, bro? Oh, come on, man. That's like bullshit, bro. Kill the Monty, bro. I check a different bush, see if I can decap them, but there's absolutely nothing, so I'm forced to go to the other side. Go from the other side. There's the Chieftain again. I keep scanning for visible layers on their tanks, but I can find nothing as they know exactly where I am. It is not hard for them to angle. That's so unlucky, dude. Come on. As the cap nears its completion, I have to decap once again really fast. In these kinds of situations, you always need to pay attention to the cap number, because if someone leaves the cap, you know they're gonna push you. I also have another issue. I only have a single APCR left, and as the premium AP shells are incredibly slow on this tank, I really need to get in with the last one. Come on, man. Serious? Serious, bro. 243. I try to chase him because I need to clear him out before I can get to the chieftain, but I cannot find him anywhere. Only have one minute left and I have an AP shell. Spot it again, dude. I obviously cannot fight them head-on since I'm a one-shot, but I still try to keep close in case they push me. I'm not gonna give you the win. I am not gonna give you the win, dude. That was just plain unluck, bro. Like, I rolled 243 with a 300 alpha gun on a Manticore who has 260 HP, man. And it is indeed true. If I just roll my alpha on that Manticore, the whole map would have become my cradle and I could have gone anywhere about outspotting the chief and slowly sending him back to the garage. Truly unlucky. Are you struggling to get enough spotting damage in fast games? Well, this Steps game is for you. I'll show you how to get 10k combined in 4 minutes. Steps isn't a great map for scouts, unfortunately, but with the AMX you can play hyper-aggressive on this flank since you have insane firepower. Bosh. If nothing pushes, I'm just gonna push myself. Should that guy? Would this position work here? Oh lol, it actually does. Yo, that's crazy, man. I see that our V4 is pushing super aggro into the VZ and he's in luck that I'm playing this tank. Just look at this devastation. Need to kill him, bro. Kill him. Nice, YOLO brother. Big YOLO friend, man, the V4. Oh, oh. Why is he pushing now into this? Oh, it's his platoon, mate. I got you, V4. I got you, bro. 
By the way, if you are here, knock these trees down because they provide extra decent camo. Yak Panza. Eliminate him. Nice, Agent. Good job. I'm gonna clip this guy now. Let's see if we can pen. How many shots have we given pen yet? How many shots can we hit? <laughs> two of them two of them didn't even go where I aimed, man. Look man, you were just bad at timing, or maybe your build sucks. No offense but, I'm just expecting things. All tanks are good if you build them properly. I'm starting to think they don't let you look at CCS account stats, because they are crazy good, because they get CC RNG and millimeters. This is how to become a pro player only what you need is a luxie nothing else, not always skills. Wargami makes all your skills work like they should but for 99% polished Wargami sheet. All our cheddars, all no way. App by Cheddar's game. WG is disgusting shit. Profit make him only. Tell you what, extreme use of profanity in chat play 10 rounds and watch RNG. Protect everyone you shoot at blah 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 blah. Watch in slow mo on blah 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 perfect aim lock. Even in CSGO they don't aim like this. Cheats are feeling good in World of Tanks. I'm gonna try and spot it. I hope they don't have many campers there. Holy, holy. Yo, look at this. I can just stay here, like this. I can just spot those people, dude. Look, they're permad. Effie's permad. Effie's still spotted. I'm keeping him spotted. Shoot him now. Nice. I'm gonna go into a bush now. They're not spotting, so we can spot the gorilla as well. If they peek. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna go for the fosh now. Go for the fosh. hee <laughs> hee Ay, 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 Fosh. What happened, dude? I'm gonna spot the grill now. No problem! Don't worry, don't worry! How's it going? Nice, boys. On Malinovka, you should always come to this bush position as this simply is the best way to get insane amounts of spotting damage early on. The enemy has literally nowhere to go. Come on, kill that Effie. You need that Effie needs to die, bro. Effie needs to die, man. Nice, 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 nice. Good job. Good job, man. Nice, he's dead. Yo. Come on, that Leo needs to get shot by the badge, the shard, man. What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> he followed his friend into the, the garage. Unfortunately, the shard pushed at the same time and left the bushes, but he met his end quickly at the hands of the 1 2 1B. And since he was gone, it was time for me to step up my game and go deeper. Let's go spot now. I'm gonna spot this bush here. I don't think they have a lot of guys here. Honestly. The reason why I can be so aggressive in the middle of the open is because I know exactly where the Manticore was and he's simply too far away from me to be able to spot me. <laughs> Tunnel vision to the max, boys! There's the Manti. Can to die. Oh, the Manti is playing very passive, man. Okay, that's that's golden opportunity for me to go flank. They have a 705 Sharfitur on spot. The Sharfitur was up there, we know that. We can spot the Sharfitur out here, easy. I'm gonna do the same approach as I did yesterday. It was very good. Holy. At this point, the enemy is literally bunker camping on the zero line, and I have to wait for my guys to finish the K91 prototype before they can shoot for me. So I just take it easy for a second and then go back later. Okay, it's gonna be a stretch here. Not the best. Not the best, dude. <laughs> nice shot, man. Now that the Manti is gone, I can roam around freely without having to worry about getting counter spotted. Is he spotting me at 2.30? I don't think so. No, he's not. <laughs> That's the Shara. He's not gonna go unspotted. He is not gonna go unspotted. Just look how cheekily close I can get to them without being seen. This is crazy. Find the shard, dude. Took some damage. Ooh, there's the Eskong. And the face. All perma spotted. There's no escape. There is no escape. How far? 
340. Most people don't have max experience, so if you have maximized camo skills, brothers in arms and bounty exhaust, you can expect to get split at around 230 to 240 meters with most tier 10 light tanks. Ah, they never know man, they never know or from where. They never know from where man, they're getting spotted. This is why I love this map so much. This is why I love this map so much dude. 11k in 5 minutes. Nice! Okay, the Seskong still has some HP. Start with him then. There's the Arty. Little surprise for you, Eskong. Just a little surprise. Oh, I love playing lights, man. This game was absolutely crazy and I was sweating so hard to win it. It is packed with unbelievable situations throughout, so you don't want to miss out. To start the game out, unfortunately, the enemy light was right in front of me. I tried approaching him from behind the rock so he wouldn't see me, but his platoon may still manage to connect the shot on me. Literally there, right next to the rock on the left. Wait, where the f I stayed here for quite long, but nothing really happened, so I just tried to leave now. I realized that the enemies are playing quite close here on the zero line and I had a chance to sneak up and get myself into this position to be able to spot them out. Whoa! Look at that Fosh bear, he's so confused. This projector needs to die man, but we don't have RT, so... Oh, he's dead. Let's try and flank on the zero. Let's see what they got. Where's the Monty? Ooh, Pantera! Bro, he's in the open! Hello? Boys? We can cross the red line, I think. I'm too small, maybe even hide here. Average tier 8 premium enjoyer. Oh! Monty is here. In that bush. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my, we just hear you there. Try and cross now. I'm gonna spot the first one on the E3. He has turned towards me. I know. Fosh isn't even aiming at me anymore. Okay. This 114 is super isolated and I need to get rid of him to be able to control their base fully. Halloween is quite near, so I hope you guys are ready for the most evil clip of our lifetime. CVS time, boys! Will it spot me if I shoot like this? Let's try. Oh, it doesn't. To reset, dude. Am I fast enough, though? Oh my God! Why is the art still there, man? No one has a reset. But I can't, dude. I can't decap, man. Oh, this is so dumb. We're losing because of a cap. They're just dumb, bro. Nobody. Nice. The most important factor now is to get rid of their fast tanks since they can catch me. Those slow TDs will never have a chance if I can successfully eliminate the Char and the Monty. But I realize I have a small chance for some damage on the TDs here and I get too greedy instead of trying to get behind them once again. Is 
Wow. I somehow got spotted by the Fosh here and I had to run away quickly. How much HP is the Monty and the Shocky too? Here I was still spotted so I make them think I'm going towards the 1-2 line but I quickly turn around and try to get under their noses right behind them. Unfortunately the Manticore is full HP and did not lose a single hit point during the entirety of the match. I have to focus the Shara because he has a clip. Oh, man. Unfortunately for me, they played well and they played together. And if I didn't take all that damage uselessly in the beginning, I would have stood a chance to carry this. Now, let me show you how to play from the other side of Marinovka. First and foremost, you need to drive into the bush of death, but be fair of getting blanched, as this is the most obvious bush here. You don't necessarily need to stay in it to be able to spot all the time, too. There. Unfortunately, the AMX 13105 somehow manages to survive that. Don't ask. Yo! You kidding, team? Are you kidding, man? In the open. The beer's there. It's very much. Look at that 90! How is he alive, bro? Holy! <laughs> no way! But man, that man is still spotted, man. He's not gonna fade. Thank you, Bachelor Ardy. Thank you, man. Giga Chat, blind shot him. That man is not gonna go unspotted, dude. Also, the CS is there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. We're, not, we're not playing that game, bro. We're not playing that game, FP. I like how my team is really trying to get angles on the tanks I'm spotting. Is there now. <laughs> Since the CS died, the EPR is on the other side and the FE is leaving, I have the opportunity to go into the middle of the field once again and try to help this team with all the spots. Myself. Since the enemy EBR is getting close to us here, I have to try and get away as soon as possible before I fall victim to his yellow spotting. I'm gonna sneak behind them. He he he. He, th <laughs> thinks, he thinks I'm gonna peek. Whenever you are playing against other lights with bad camo values, I recommend coming to this position and knocking the tree down. If he peeks anywhere, he should be spotted. I wanna spot the Sheridan, because he has atrocious camo value. And I think they're playing passive on this side. Oh. Nice. What are they doing, man, these bad chats? One guy's dying, one guy's yoloing. Oh. He was just chilling in the open, guys. Don't don't stress, man. Don't stress. And is he moving? Oh, he is. He is moving. Huh? But Leo's not really stressing, guys. He was like, gonna go a little deeper. Not so deep. What is an Emil two doing there? Oh, that's a good spot. That's a good spot. Bro, that guy should die. He's so in the open. It's respawn. It's moving. She has no camo. There you go. 
I like how he's snapshotting on the move, man. <laughs> we need to get rid of this Emil, man. The question is, can I get to the red line without being spotted? Okay. Since the middle tower was alone, it was time to push him. Thank you, man. Very good, very good, very good, very good clip now. We just need 1.5k more chat. I'm gonna go on down the K line. Gonna be high progressive here. We need to get there in time. Okay, right in front. Have to be careful for the trees. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad, man. Oh. Oh, yes, we have it. What a shame, right? What a shame, dude. What a shame, man. Thank you so much, Izzy. I really appreciate it, man. Look at that, man. Didn't even get anything from that? Wow. Big ram, big ram, big ram! Boom! This game starts the same as every mine of Karam, but this time the enemy bunker camped super hard and I had to somehow dislodge them from their position. So watch it carefully and hope you enjoy it because this was pretty wild. And on top of that, my RHM is at 99% on the gun mark and if this game works out, I will get the 100% gun mark right here. Things didn't really work out this time because our EPR was also sitting there, so I just left after some time. They have nothing on the hill. I'm spotted. I think the EBR is there actually. Oh. Lol. Can you aim for the EBR? Okay, I have to go through the zero line now to spot. I have to go zero line, man. Uh, zero line, we have a chance to spot here. That guy's in the open, man. Oh, I see. That's not good, man. It's a hard on Eskonk. Kind of stuck here now, dude. Ah, this wood has position. F me up, man. I believe now. CS. <laughs> wow! Okay, agent. Alright, now I can go through the mid. Giga Chad, man. How the f did you hit that guy? I have an idea. That'd be a bit risky, but. He's firm out. He's firm out, dude. Yo, you can hit that guy, by the way, from here. I can also go deeper a little bit. Look at here, maybe. Nice, brother. Udes Gamer. Udes Gamer. <laughs> Wha what? What? Okay, buddy. There's a, there's a CS here. I don't know. Has to be the CS spotting me. I make sure that nobody's in the top push in front of me and then decide to go behind enemy lines once again. Let's see how well this is going to work out this time and if you can get the juicy 100% gun mark on the RHM. <sighs> Holy sh... How's it going, man? What up? I know where the 140 is, dude. Oh, hello there. Uh, that already doesn't even have a six cents, man. He literally doesn't give a f Look at him. Uh, I get shot, guys. Who cares? Who kind of needs to die? Nice. <laughs> There's another FTTV, by the way. That's fine, too. Can go behind them. GG 100 for 100. Oh, we got it! I'm dead. I still believe you used aim hack.